Ever wondered how life begins? Let's dive into the fascinating journey of human reproduction and fetal development. It all starts with, picture this, a single sperm cell out of millions manages to penetrate the egg's outer layers. The genetic materials merge and voila, a zygote is formed. Next up, the zygote embarks on a rapid journey of division called it transforms into a blastocyst, a tiny structure with an inner cell mass known as the embryoblast and an outer layer, the trophoblast. Fun fact, the trophoblast will become the placenta. Around day six, the blastocyst implants itself into the uterine wall. This crucial step is called. Sometimes this can cause a bit of harmless bleeding, but it's all part of the process. Onward to where three germ layers form, ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. These layers will eventually become all the tissues and organs of the body. By week three, we have the neural tube, which will form the brain and spinal cord, starts to develop. Tiny somites appear, destined to become skeletal muscles and parts of the skin. In week four, the heart starts to pump blood. The chorion, a membrane with villi, develops to help exchange nutrients with the mother. This week also brings the appearance of pharyngeal arches and limb buds. Come week five, the embryo starts to take on a more recognizable form. You can see the lens play codes for future eyes, olfactory pits and the beginnings of hands and feet. The embryo is now C-shaped with a small tail-like structure called a caudal eminence. By week eight, the embryogenesis phase ends and fetal development begins. Fingers once webbed now separate. The embryo is about 8 mm long. Moving into months 3 to 12, we see some incredible changes. In month 4, fine hair called lanugo and a protective coating called vernix develop. By month 5, the mother can feel the baby's movements and the sucking reflex starts to form. In month 7, the eyes open and significant weight gain begins. By months 8 and 9, the lanugo starts to fade and the vernix decreases. The fetus grows rapidly, filling the amniotic sac. Now let's talk about the and the placenta is a powerhouse facilitating nutrient and waste exchange between the mother and fetus. Oxygen and nutrients travel to the fetus via the umbilical vein, while waste products are removed via the umbilical arteries. Finally, at full term, around week 38, the fetus measures about 50 centimeters and weighs approximately 3,000 g. And there you have it. From a single cell to a fully formed baby, the journey of life is nothing short of miraculous. Thanks for joining me on this incredible journey from egg to baby. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share and 